Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, and many others, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update, Wednesday, November 22nd, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, Thanksgiving Eve, 2023. Well, the Iceland uh, eruption watch continues as heavy snow is now blanketing the region. As you can see here, once again, happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. Keep calm. It's boom time. Here's a quick travel forecast. If you are, in fact, traveling in one of the busiest holidays of the season. If you are traveling on Thanksgiving Day, the real problem is going to be the Rockies. The rest of the nation looks pretty good. There will be a storm system dropping snowfall around Salt Lake City, so you could see some delays there. But if you're just hanging out at Grandma's house from Casper southward to Denver, you're going to see a little bit of snowfall to greet you on your Thanksgiving and take you into Black Friday. As far as Friday's travel, there may be some delays in places like uh, Tampa, maybe Miami, Jacksonville, Savannah if you're flying in and out of there. Also continued snow so Cheyenne Denver might be a problem but the four corners that's where most of the action is going to be on Friday with continued snow and then a rain snow mix for the southern four corners. On Saturday wintry weather moves into Oklahoma and Texas so heads up Kansas City again Denver. Uh, places like Amarillo you might see some travel delays there but it's raining across the big country and on towards the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. Sunday look Looking good from the West Coast almost to the Mississippi River, but there will be some wintry weather across the Great Lakes. Cleveland, Indianapolis, Chicago, Detroit, watch out there. You could see some delays. Look for wet roadways in New York. Real quick recap here of the snowfall that has come down over the last few days. It has been snowing in the Northeast, like we predicted, up to eight inches now. Probably another three to six inches in the system as it is moving offshore, most of it by now. The West has picked up quite a considerable amount of snow, especially Utah, Colorado, and it looks like Washington State, all the big winners there. Here is the forecast. Storm bringing wintry mix to interior New England today. Heavy snow in the northern Rockies on Thanksgiving. A storm will shift across southern New England and the Gulf Coast of Maine and the Gulf of Maine today and tonight bringing a wintry mix across the interior northeast U.S. An Arctic cold front will push south across the central U.S. today into Thanksgiving. Mo it will be cold, central U.S. to the east, mark my words. Moderate to heavy snow is forecast Tonight into Thanksgiving over Wyoming, progressing south into Colorado by Friday. We're forecast to get six inches of the global warming goodness. And let's just walk this through. Shut up, Al. Get in your hole. No turkey for you. Al Gore is not happy with this snow forecast. Here is the forecast through Gobble Day. So... Turkey Day is going to be bringing heavy snow to Maine. It's insane. Look at that. Maybe eight inches or more in some region as that system Friday moves down into the Rockies, starting from the north into the south. And by Saturday, a storm could be developing, moving across the country here, bringing heavy snow to potentially Oklahoma, Kansas, and then more snow for the northeast. And then the west is getting system after system moving in towards center, the center of December. Seismic update, two big rumblers over the last 24 hours, 6.0 in Indonesia, 6.7 in Vanuatu. There were no tsunami warnings and very few injuries, if any, reported. Good news there. It is all quiet across the world. Now, some amazing footage coming out from, I forget the name of the volcano there, uh, in Papua New Guinea. But let's take a look. Uluwan. Uluwan. Major eruption over 50,000 feet just a few days ago. Uh, and it's so remote that there was very little activity here. But here we do have some shots from an airplane. Absolutely amazing shots of Uluwun in Indonesia. Eruption back on November 20th there. Probably going to get demonetized from that music. But all the links will be below if you want to check out some of that eruption footage. Now, speaking of eruptions, the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is expanding closures due to Kilauea unrest. We've been suggesting there has been unrest there for days and an eruption may be imminent. And now some closures 
because apparently the experts believe the same. As we're waiting for an eruption on Iceland, there have been zero earthquakes for five hours, which could be signaling the eruption is happening anytime soon. Here are the live cams. Nothing happening. As I said before, there is heavy snow on the ground here in Grindavik, and it is wind and snow is the forecast as many people are waiting for the inevitable. Hopefully, it doesn't erupt. I mean, isn't that the best scenario here? Dukono Volcano in Indonesia, also vigorous explosions with rich ash emissions. Dukono uh, explodes quite often. There's a good capture there. As we take a look at space weather, all of these sunspots we were worried about, many of them seem to be decaying here in the south. These still look pretty significant here up in the northern portion there, but low level activity only in the sea flare range currently. Uh, the three-day geomagnetic forecast is all calm. We did hit level G1 today for a few hours due to a coronal hole stream from this coronal hole. We could expect the same in about a week from this one, actually five days as it passes by as well. Nothing significant though to report on here at Solar Max. The ozone hole isn't recovering after all. A new study argues it could be Hunga Tonga. Here is the paper, Potential Drivers of a Recent Large Antarctic Ozone Hole. Now, that nobody knows what's going on. It could be the weakening magnetosphere coupled with Hunga Tonga. And, well, the ozone hole isn't recovering. All the links will be below. Hidden Wonders, Webb Space Telescope detects unexplained structures in the heart of the Milky Way. And, well... The graphics are insane. Look at what's going on here. Towards They look towards the center of our galaxy, Sagittarius A is the center, but I believe they looked here at Sagittarius C. Yes, the Sagittarius C region, in fact, and found some amazing structures. Look at the, these all these linear filaments moving around, including what they're calling here a proto-star cluster, and here an infrared dark cloud, and this yellow spot here, ionized hydrogen. And obviously, the red dotted lines, the needle-like structures. All of this has astrophysicists, you guessed it, baffled. So come check out the article below. Now, good news. The Geminid meteor shower is about to heat up. It peaks in the middle of December, but it's already starting now. Shooting stars will light up the night sky with as much as 120 shooting stars or meteors per hour. Hours of power. So one of the most intense displays of shooting stars is underway. The Geminid meteor shower. It begins building towards its December peak this week. The annual celestial spectacle is one of the best opportunities of the year to see a meteor shower and it just disappeared and something else showed up in front of it. That is amazing how that works. Now here, a breaking news. News surveillance video shows the moment when the vehicle went airborne and crashed at the Rainbow Bridge crossing checkpoint. It certainly, and let's just move the screen up here so you can see it, all the way to the top here was a guy losing traction. So keep your eye right here. He, when, the, when the car comes into the frame, skids out, hits a ramp here, unfortunately, and shoots over and explodes. Not a terrorist attack. Come check out the footage over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project at Diamond the Dave on Twitter. And as always, that is a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are shadow banned and we need your help to grow. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. Happy Thanksgiving. We love each and every one of you. Thank you for your support over the years and thank you for sharing this video. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving and drive safe. And that is a boom. Mm -hmm.